Good morning. What? Oh, God, what are you doing? Careful. That stuff costs a fortune. It's Elizabeth Arden. I found in one of the cases. I've got creme de la mer too, but I didn't want to waste it. What? What's happened? It's okay. You're safe. We just had a little plane crash and we're stranded on an island somewhere. I was watching 12 years of slave. Yeah, man. we started getting major turbulence seven hours after takeoff. <laughs> you didn't miss much, though. Brad Pitt saves all the blacks and ends apartheid forever. <laughs> What's happening? Why are you hugging me? I'm not hugging you. Shh, shh, shh. I'm holding you. How long have we been here? I woke up about five hours ago. You don't know what I've been through. I thought you might be dead. No, I'm fine. Yeah, I know you are now, but you weren't a minute ago. How do you think I felt? Imagine having to break the news to your kids. Your daddy died on a beach with his head in my lap. I was only trying to tend to your chat lips and you start shouting at me. Look, listen. We need to get off this island. What we do now is crucial. It's the next 48 hours that count. OK, Ramirez. So what's your plan? Haven't you got some sort of protocol you follow in these situations? They didn't train us for this. If they did, I can't remember. You just zone out, don't you? It's like the safety video they play before takeoff. Cool people don't watch that shit. Listen, we need to light a fire, make a signal. They'll know the flight path we're on. They'll be looking for but us. We might have drifted hundreds of miles in the night. I only had one paddle. <laughs> hey, Brett, everything's going to be OK. I'm so glad I've got you on my team. Well, there wasn't really an option, was there? Well, what's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying it's just the two of us. So you're saying if there were more of us, you wouldn't be on my team? Oh, come on, I didn't say I that. saved your life twice, Douglas, and this is how you repay me. Twice? Once from drowning and once from economy. I upgraded you to first class. Gave you all the pretzels you could eat. Pajamas, toothbrush, little salt and pepper shakers. I suppose that means nothing now. Look, Brett. We need to get a fire started. We need to work together. You're right. We do need to work together. Together forever. Yes, in the short term. We're BFFs, aren't we? What? Best friends forever. Pinky me. Oh, look, come on, I don't think we really need to... Pinky me! Steering us right now from the trees. Act natural. Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? Stop toying with us! Didn't your mother teach you it's free to play with your food? Brad, look, there's no one there. They probably got us surrounded, poised in their little grass skirts, their beady devil eyes peeping out from the ferns, ready to blow a poison dart up our asses. Brad, you need to keep it together. God you... help you! If you come anywhere near my BFF, I will cut you down, you shitty little pygmies!
What are you doing? I found it in the emergency bag. Well, we need that. Are you drunk? A little bit. Have some. It's great. Promise not to let off another one. This was the only one. You seem like you're on a bit of a downer, mate. <laughs> well, I've just been in a plane crash. <laughs> what are you doing with those shoes? Firstly, they're not shoes. They're Jimmy shoes. Secondly, they're weapons. If a tribes person comes to me, I can just whack, gash their eyes out, disorientate them. Give us some precious thinking time. Careful! What? Look, I think tomorrow we should search the island. For all we know, we may be near civilization. Fine. You want to go looking for new friends? People say they're your friend, and then they go and fuck you over. They're all happy they've been bumped up into first class, getting my undivided attention, and then off they go, wandering around looking for new mates. Fine. Go off. See if I can. This isn't about new friends. I need to get back to my family. Me too. I've got heaps of family. And friends. I bet they're all bawling their bloody eyes out right now thinking I'm dead. They'll have set up some sort of vigil. You know, guitars, folk songs and all that. Think of all the tales we're going to have to tell when we get back. They'll probably turn all this into some sort of mini-series. Hey. You could even play yourself, Douglas. No, it's not really me. I bet you could turn your hand to anything. Yeah. Except marriage. I think you'd make a great husband. Well, Pamela's a complicated woman. Yeah, I've had my fair share. There's someone else involved. There always is. He was my best friend. Coaches my son's football team. Let's make a pact right now. And this is not the drink talking. When I get back, I'm gonna hunt this fucker down. What's his name? Fergus. But I'm gonna hunt Fergus down. I'm gonna rip him a new asshole. I will tear his fucking asshole to shreds. Well, look, uh, uh, We're not finished with his asshole. He won't even have an asshole. He'll just have a dirty, great mess wedged between the cheeks of his greasy bum burger. Look, I, I hear you on the asshole front, Brett. Loud and clear. Cannonball! I say we kill her. Have you gone mad? She's really frightened. We need to talk to her. Oh, and I suppose you speak mumbo jumbo now, do you? Brett, you need to calm down. Yeah, so what's your idea? Let her go and have her kill us. Look at her eyes. She's trying to mess with your mind. No, I'm gonna untie her. This is too 19th century. You're gonna have to search her, Douglas. Internally. She might be concealing weapons up her vaginas. What? What weapons? Who knows? Look at her claws for a start. She'd scratch your eyes out in a flash. The painted nails. I don't think she's a native. OK, Mr. Peacemaker, riddle me this. What if her spear-chucking orc-like tribespeople are already sniffing their way through the jungle right now, hmm? What then? They will sweep through us like a swarm of piranha. Brett, she's wearing Crocs. So? All that tells me is she's already murdered someone and they're her badge of honour. We can't do anything without proof. I'll give you proof. Look at the way she reacts when I poke her with this stick. If you poke anyone with a stick, they're going to get angry. No, look, this isn't right. I'm going to untie Don't her. Don't you dare, Douglas Jennings. I'll just take her gag off there. Douglas! I'm warning you. Stay back! What the hell do you think you're doing? Release that woman at once! Oh, uh, 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 yes. I, I, I... I've... She tried to bite my friend. I might bite you in a minute if you don't loosen those ropes. I am Brett Sullivan. I'm with the airline. I've got a name badge. I remember you. Yes, the steward. I am Harriet Wilcox, MBE. This is Arnab and Susan. We lost Malika way back. She must have seen the fire. She was on the flight. Yeah, she was in our dinghy. She can't speak any English. What on earth are you doing to her? It was more Douglas. What? I didn't fully realise what was going on until it was too late. I was trying to untie her. Well, I've got the stick then. She I... came out of the undergrowth, chomping at us like a deranged Pac-Man. I thought she was going to bite my bloody face off. 
that's my stool you're wearing. What do you think you're doing wearing my clothes, for God's sake? Please, can we keep God out of this? Find his keepers, losers, weepers. Take it off immediately. And to think I'm about to compliment you for having good taste. By the way, the Elizabeth Arden moisturiser, simply divine. Oh, that was a gift for my friend. I was creaming up Douglas earlier. I was asleep. Have you seen any other survivors? I'm looking for my parents. We think there might be zombies. No, they're not zombies. My dad's um, about, about this tall. He's got grey hair, quite generic. Have you seen a generic white man? Do we have any water? We do, yeah. Do you? OK, I'm just putting it out there. I'm up for drinking my own piss. No, I know that's not needed. We do have water. What about Bear Grylls? Like, he's always drinking piss and eating shit. You can do that. Well, I'm not eating anyone's shit. I've hung out with Jay-Z in first class, OK? And we don't eat shit. You don't have to eat his shit. No, I eat your own shit. No, 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 stop it. Where are we? We're on an island. Did they teach you nothing other than serving food? Are you going to let her speak to me like that? Please, Camille, just calm down. I can't remember her being crowned queen of the island, so why isn't she shut up with all the questions and accusations? You are supposed to be helping us. <gasps> She's at it again! He he's quite upset, that's all. Well, I'm upset. I've lost my husband. Well, he's going through a shitty divorce because his best friend's going up his wife, Pam, like a rat up a bloody drain pipe. His kids probably hate him and love their new dad, Fergus. I promise to fuck Fergus and his wife. I thought you were gay. Fuck her up, fuck her. Not fuck her, fuck her. Very cool. No, I appreciate your support, Brett. That's my wife you're talking about. It's Pamela. <sighs> Pam, Pamela. Spade, spade. No, it's not. It's Pamela. Now, we're all upset. We need to work together. We need to form a plan. Yes. Before any plans get discussed, we need to have a private chat about whether we want them on our team. What is it about our team? Look, I'm glad you're here, but I'm not prepared to draw a line in the sand between us and them. We need to work together. But you said we're best friends forever. You pinkied me. We are friends. But we were all on the same flight. Hold on. Where's Malika? She's probably gone off to plan a counterattack with the pygmies. There she is, look. Oh, wait. She's taken the only raft. Come back! She'll be back. You mark my words. And when she does, we will be ready and waiting to fuck her up. <laughs> Bread flog! B -b -b bread flog! It's day two on the island, and things have already gone from bad to worse. Your husband wasn't even on the flight. You probably murdered him, you slag. Ah! We have found some chicken dinners we could utilise. I don't know how much longer I can survive. No, but I definitely feel the vibe between us. But there is no us! Should we do the makeup sex now or? This isn't a film. It's real life. Yeah. It's exactly what someone says right before they get their head caved in. Oh, look, look. Oh, oh, oh. I, Brett Tracy Sullivan, son of George and Mary Sullivan, pledge to explore this strange exotic island, to seek out new civilizations and new life, to boldly go where no air steward has ever gone before. We really hit it off, didn't we? Yeah. Looking for two people, Ed Sheeran! Damn this ginger hair! And fuck you, Harry Styles! I'm really sad it didn't work out. But all credit to dear Taylor, she really taught me a lot. Mostly, the girls don't like it when you go out with them and you have a lot of sex with other people. <laughs> Who knew?